In many ways, the conflict in Yemen underlines the contradictions and rivalries of a post-Arab Spring Middle East. It was all about reinstating the authority of Abed Rabbo Mansour Hadi, the internationally recognized Yemeni president. He had risen to power after the popular uprising in 2011, taking over from his boss, Ali Abdullah Saleh, who had led the country for three decades. Hadi struggled to impose his authority in a country riddled with poverty, the spread of armed groups and corruption. He also couldn't fend off the rising influence of the Houthis, who had taken control of the northern province of Saada and the capital Sana'a. Once at odds, the Iranian-backed Houthis and deposed President Saleh, who still had the support of many in the military, became allies and were planning a total takeover of the country. But more than two years later, neither side appears close to achieving a military victory and the political cards are being shuffled once again. The tactical alliance between the Houthis and Saleh supporters was fragile at best, both being highly suspicious of each other's motives, but united by that same desire to overthrow the Hadi administration. Former President Ali Abdullah Saleh now says he is open to talks with the Saudi-led coalition if it will put an end to the fighting and the blockade. They need to lift the blockade and open the airports and allow food and medicine into the country. We will open a new page for them for dialogue. What is happening in Yemen is enough. This turnaround effectively puts an end to the partnership with the Houthis. Their leader criticized the move as an attempted coup by Saleh. He's very charismatic in the way that he knows how to, to actually go out of his way, change 180 degrees, and, and, and be very pragmatic in who he um, goes into a coalition with. And that, he showed that once again. If, if it suits him, if the timing is right, he will do what is necessary to remain in power. It's about regime security, and he's very good at that. The problem with the Houthis is that they're an ideological player. So they do have um, a, a clear belief system. They believe in something. They have an ideological objective they want to achieve, and Saleh doesn't have that. For Saleh, it's pure about, purely about interest, and it's about establishing or maintaining his power base. As president, Saleh was a close Saudi ally and fought the Houthis several times. He's also known as a man of great survival acts. Friends have once again turned into enemies and foes into new allies, leaving Hadi, the legitimate president of Yemen, in the cold. Hud Abdel Hamid, Al Jazeera.